Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. Rob here from Southwest Florida Television. A little overcast this morning. Temperature is about 79 degrees right now. Expecting a high of 91 again. It's been warm. Muggy, warm. I wonder if we had any action out here on the beach last night with our sea turtles. We were up to 28 nests when I left yesterday. Walk down here to the water. Oh boy, I see the ranger checking something out already down at the south end. By the dunes so that probably means there was a crawl at least a crawl down there a little too far down for me to walk though they're definitely checking something out down there Up here and zoom in and you'll see the ranger down there you can see him checking something out there paperwork out it looks like so possibly another nest down there already this morning way down the south end of the park there that's good news let's walk up the beach see what we find this morning see who we run into into our friend Roy, I'm sure. Already some people out here on the beach. Some folks that have their passes to get in after hours. Cloudy. Cloudy out here this morning and it's humid. Really muggy. Muggy, muggy. Huh? We're live, baby, on Facebook. <laughs> Tell them what great realtor you are. You oh, need a thanks. house. Come see Roy. <laughs> this is the other Roy. There's two Roys at the beach. <laughs> Got old Roy up here and young Roy down here. Yeah, good. <laughs> no, it is humid, isn't it? Yeah. It's going to be a steamy day. I'll see you later, Roy. Okay, take care, Rob. Let's go look for some sea turtle crawls, some shells. That water it still says it's 85 at the ranger station at the front gate, but man, it feels like a bathtub out here. Water is gorgeous down here, nice and clear. Once that sun pops up, you'll be able to see the bottom really well. As I look back down to the south, I see the ranger still down there, so. I see him walking out to the water, checking out the tracks. So we 
probably got another nest down there. Our friends Scott and Linda should be showing up here soon. Maybe even they might be bringing their friends Mike and Tina out to do some shelling. Yesterday, I had a pretty good morning of shelling. There's a big alligator on the beach. Uh-oh. Yeah, a sand alligator. Check it out. That's pretty cool. It's got two big shells for eyes. <laughs> A sand gator. Boy, this sand is really, really soft down here. You just sink down in it in places. Low tides, not for quite a while, several hours at least. So it's gonna be a while before we see those sandbars offshore. And I'm not sure what my schedule is gonna be now for the next the rest of this week. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it out here before I head off for vacation or not. Saw a school of fish swim by. There wasn't any rain in the forecast. It sure does look dreary out here, doesn't it, right now? It's probably close to 80 right now. The humidity's starting to get up there, though. Ninety-one, that's the high they're predicting for today. Ninety-one degrees. Another hot, steamy afternoon in southwest Florida. It's gonna be hard to see the sun come up here. We got a lot of clouds out to the east. Kind of crazy there. There's one of our nests, nest number 17. Sea turtle nest 17 and 
right next to it, somebody left their beach noodles. Well, how, how could you go home and forget to take those big things? Crazy. Come out here early in the morning. You can always find some beach toys for your kids. There's a little, little sand rake over there. Oh boy, that's me. <laughs> Excuse me. Nest 18 over there. We're up in area two. Started down in area one again this morning. Moving right along. Little look south down the beach. Just come all the way around. Give you a 360 panorama. Those are all old tree stumps sticking up there in the sand. They've been there for as long as I've been coming here, as long as I can remember. High tide, you gotta be careful because those are underwater. They could really trip you up. I haven't seen any sea turtle crawls yet. I'm pretty sure there was one all the way down the end of area one. The ranger was spending a bit of time down there. Might have been a false crawl though. Not seeing anything as far as shells go down here. Nothing. I mean, this beach has been, again, just swept clean of shells. Yesterday we found some nice little treasures. But again, we found those up at the north end of the park, so. Shelling's been, seems to be better up once we get up into the north end area three and into areas four and five. Right now we are at the north end of area three. Five parking lots here at Del Norwegans. 
Number one being the closest to the main entrance, number five being all the way up the north end of the park by Wiggins Pass. That's where you'll want to go. If you want to do some fishing, park up at the north end of the park and head out towards Wiggins Pass. It's the only place you're allowed to fish. Swimming, swimming only in the other areas. Boy, oh boy. Noisy. Did you hear that osprey flying? That was came right over my head. It's carrying a fish back to its nest. It was noisy. Screeching up a storm. Boy, there's here it comes. It's flying back by me. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Oh, just landed in the tree. Oh, it's flying out. It's got a fish in its talons. Definitely carrying a fish. Being really noisy, too. Flies are terrible out here this morning. I don't know why lately we've had so many flies. I don't know if it's that time of year for the flies. I know for a couple weeks out of every year, the flies are just almost unbearable. Hey, don't forget your dad today. Happy Father's Day to all you dads out there. If you're lucky enough to still have a father alive, be sure to give him a call today. Tell him you love him. Boy, it is a quiet morning out here this morning. Not seeing much of anything on the beach. Oh, a dead horseshoe crab, that's been there for a while. It's starting to really stink. No horseshoe crab. See a little pile of shells ahead of me on the beach. One little pile. Anything down there. <laughs> Nothing jumping out at me there.
<laughs> yeah, we'll see what happens as we get a little further up the beach. See the waves starting to break on the new sandbars out there. Looks like they're might be getting ready to fire up the old dredge out there. That's that's where they, the sand gets pumped out of there. I don't know if they're going to move that. They've just been moving it up and down the beach, that barge. Yeah, looks like they're gonna move it again. See that big tube, that big pipe, that sand gets just pumped right out the end there on the right. It's getting pumped. I'm going to slowly pan. It's getting pumped from all the way up at Wiggins Pass. You can see the that's the dredging barge. should come into view here in a second. All the way up there. That's way up the beach. You can actually see the pipe. It's on top of the surface there for a ways. Once it, they start pumping, it'll sink. And that comes all the way down here to Area 4 from Wiggins Pass. It's a very compressed view. That's pretty far away, as you can see. <laughs> That's way up there. Well, I'm starting to see some shells now along the. Didn't look like it doesn't look like we had much of a tide last night. So the water only came up to here. of our little snowy egrets up ahead of me. Out fishing for their breakfast. It is really, really quiet out here this morning. A lot 
Lots of little shells again. There's a little moon. Little shark eye. Oops, got the camera light on. How did I do that? How did that happen? Hang on, I gotta figure out how to get that out, off. That was weird. And the camera light turned on. There's a shark eye. A little moon shell. Nice little find. A nice little find to start our shelling for this beautiful Sunday morning. Anything else down here? Lots of little guys down there this morning. You can hear the seagulls calling out. Nothing jumping out at me here yet. Those gulls out there have a, a fish they're pecking at, it looks like. Things have really changed here at the beach. These sandbars, boy, you used to come out here and find all kinds of neat things. And now with this darn dredging operation, I don't know, things are a lot, a lot different. Yeah, there's our friends, Scott and Linda, just rolling out onto the beach. There's the sun's just, just popping up over the trees over there. You can see it. There's one of our little snowy egrets over there. See it? Sun still hasn't popped up, so it's hard to see. There's a little snowy egret there. Well, now we got a lot more eyes on the beach here. Hopefully we'll find some nice little treasures here to share with you. There's a little worm shell over there. About a week or so ago, the beach was just littered with these worm shells. an old 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 moon shell not much left to it that would have that was a really pretty one 
That's a nautica. Those are so neat looking. I'll leave that for somebody else. Piece of a little olive shell there. Just the point. There's a little, an old whelk shell. Piece of a worn out old whelk. flies. Darn, darn flies everywhere. Little, there's a little baby conch. A little baby fighting conch shell. There's a couple more shells back here. It's much easier when the sun's out shining bright. Everything just kind of blends in together here when the sun's not out bright. I don't see Roy's gear here yet. He might be up the beach. Up at Wiggins Pass. I do not see our buddy Roy. I'm sure we'll run into him in a little bit. Hey Tina, how you doing? Good, good. You guys finding anything yet? Hi, Mike. Uh, no, nothing too spectacular. Nothing but yet. We're waiting. <laughs> uh, we're just. Did you find anything? What did I? Oh, I like the size. Oh, hey, that's Those a nice size one size. there. Yeah. That's um. She found a lot of babies. What do we call um, these things? I always forget the name of that the... one. What the heck? Yeah. <laughs> I always do. That's a nice size one. Yeah. Though. Usually don't find them that big. Nope. The drill or a drill shell, but it's an auger shell. Uh, auger. The yeah, auger. Yeah. yeah. Very cool. I what? found a baby, Ooh. a little cute little baby. A little baby cockle. Cockle. That's a little one. 
these aren't anything spectacular. Oh yeah. Just... I still don't know what these are, but yeah. you see tons of them on the yeah, beach. Yeah, you do. Where's Sit, Scott running know away? Scott up there. He's like trying to get the gold I, up I there. I know. He's so. like trying to get ahead of everybody. <laughs> yeah, he's trying to beat us all. He's missing a lot, I'm sure. Yeah, he didn't oh, like yeah. it last time when we were up there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. He felt you were beating him to all the good stuff. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Any uh, sharks to <laughs> None. Uh, Nothing. Wow. I've just given up. <laughs> yeah. uh, <clears throat> that's, what, that's what's yeah. going to happen. There you <laughs> I mean, we've walked by hundreds of them. I don't know if there's any. Usually the sandbars have interesting things, but lately there's nothing out here. So the tile's all in the new place? You got not all the. Not quite. Not quite? Getting Still 99%? That <laughs> Just that one room was 99%. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I thought the whole project was 99%. No, not oh. quite. Oh, that's Getting a lot there, of work. Though. Yep. Little at a time. Take a walk out here. Every once in a while we get, we'll find something neat crawling around out here on one of the sandbars. It's a great view of the beach from out here when I pan around and look back. We're in Area 4. This is the north end of Area 4 Beach. Looking south. It's obviously, now we're looking east. Nothing out here. Nothing out here catching my eye. Scott says Scott has raced ahead of us up there. That's a little white ibis that just took flight. Boy, this is where boy, there's still a pile of shells up here. You really gotta take your time when you're shelling. There's so many. And it's just so, I mean, when you look at that, it's just a big mass of shells. You really have to stare at it for a long time to find something. You bend over and get down there and start digging around. Nice little line of shells here. A sand dollar. She got a sand dollar. Awesome. There's two jewel box shells. Tina found a sand dollar. Let's go take a look at Tina's sand dollar. Yep. She's going to have to come back over here. 
it gets really deep right here where that dark green water is that's a deep drop off between the sandbar and the beach very neat she got a sand dollar hopefully it's not alive <laughs> Come on, Linda. There's a pile of shells up here. <laughs> it's like, where do you start? Start right here at the whelk. You got a little whelk? Nice. Yeah, that's a good That's a great to start. little whelk. That is a great little lightning whelk. Nice colors. There's got to be a hundred. Oh, yeah. It's amazing how the more you look, the more you find. That's a great that's little shell cool. there. And how many, how many hundreds of people have walked by here, you know, looking for something and... There's a lot of shells there. Well, 91 is today's forecasted high. Whew. It's been miserable down here. <laughs> it's been really hot in the afternoons. are a lot of shells there. What? There's too many shells to go through. I know, there's just piles of them. What, piles, what have you found? A couple of goodies. Not Some moonies. Yeah, a couple of ah, little welts. Welt. It's nice. olive with a good tip on them. Yeah. Linda just found a nice little welt. It's a nice little conch, little fighting conch. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could spend days. Yep. How are you today? Good? Good, yeah. Happy How about Father's you? Day. Yeah, oh. happy Father's Day to I'm you tired. as well. I, you know, take a break. Yeah. <laughs> Good Father's Day. My daughter will be here soon. I'm That's excited. awesome. That's a few awesome. Hours. Yep. yep. Get to see your daughter. Yep, yep. She's going to be down it's here, you say, day. for the summer, huh? Yeah, for like a month and a half. Ooh. What'd she find? What did she, she's, what did she find? It's got to be a good one. Oh. What'd you find? Oh, beautiful. I think that's really the only super I already showed you. What is that? Is that a little horse, a little murex? It looks like a little... Like think? a horse? Conch. Yeah, a little horse. baby horse con. Wow. That's a, I just need to unload my hand oh, in his pocket. That's what it is. <laughs> now you know how I get the heavy pocket yep. right here. <laughs> Thank you. Well, Tina's got a sand dollar. That's said a good thing. She found a sand dollar out there on the sandbar. So she's yeah, excited. Yeah. Yep. Nice. Ooh, that's a good size slipper shell. There's one of our turkey wings. I always like showing everybody a turkey wing shell while we're out here. Up the beach a little further here. Let's see what's up here. Still, lots of shells, big piles, big clumps of shells here. Well, there's a really old fighting conch. That thing's almost black. 
Wow. Oh, hey, there's a conch in there. There's a fighting conch in there. Let's see if he comes out and says, does his thing that puts up a fight. You can see one of his eyes there. Yep, here he comes, thrashing around here. That's why they call them fighting conchs. Look at him go. Wow. Show you something here. You put him on the down on the beach, and you'll see how he uses that foot there to flip himself over. Watch this. It'll take him a minute here. Yeah, maybe he's not going to do it. I think he sees me looking at him. Put him down closer to the water. We'll put him in the water here in a minute. There he goes. See how he just flipped himself right over? Yep. Look at him go. Crawling along. Let's put him out in the water. See his eyes there on the end of the antennas. The Florida fighting conch. We'll put him out in the water. He's pretty high up on the beach there. Get him down below the ridge. Pretty cool. You see a lot of those along the shore. If you do find them washed up on the beach, help them out and just set them back in the water. Don't throw them out, just set them gently out in the water. You wouldn't like somebody picking you up and heaving you out into the water, would you? There's a neat piece of a worm shell. That's cool. Interesting color. Where's your sand dollar? There's my sand dollar. Oh boy. It's not alive, obviously. It's white. Very nice. Great find, Tina. First one ever. Be careful. They're really fragile. Yeah, don't I know it. <laughs> I put a lot in my pocket and broke them. <laughs> oh, yeah. We carry these <laughs> No fighting cops today. Oh, I just put one in the water. Oh, well, I did too. And, well, he had Oh, daddy. Oh. There you go. Yeah, we found an octopus in one one time. I saw A that. A little baby octopus. That was crazy. That was fabulous. Darn flies. Scott's determined to get ahead of everybody up here. <laughs> <laughs> Big cockle. Yeah, yeah I need for, one the, for the shell for the shell tree. tree. There you go. It was mom's birthday. Mom. Oh. It was mom's birthday yesterday. Ooh. I gotta hang one for her. There you go. There's a little one. I'm gonna hang one too. Little cockle shell. I'll go right on the shell tree. You can see where all of our beach is washed away. Not all of it, but this area that hit really bad earlier this month. When Tropical Depression Alberta passed by us, Alberto. Took out all of this part of the beach. 
The only reason we're walking here is because the tide's going out. At high tide, there's not much of a beach to walk on right here. You have to take the trail. It just parallels the beach up behind those sea oats. So gloomy. Gloomy, but I'll take it. Just coming out and soaking up the fresh air. Let's find a tree here to hang this cockle shell that I picked up. Check out the shells in the water here. Anything out here? Hard to see. Every time I spot something, the wave comes and pulls it back. Another nice little cockle shell. A couple of them. It's nice. Got some nice color there. There's another one with a nice hole in it. A little bigger hole. Oh, what's that? Nice little whelk. I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, <laughs> I knew you were getting ahead of me. Nice yeah, nice little whelk shell. This oh. is kind of half <laughs> half buried in the sand. Yep. Yeah. That's a pretty nice lightning whelk. A little chipped up along the edge, but that's a nice whelk. Beautiful one. Very Pretty nice. good. It's a little broken up, but it's got some nice color. That was like right in here, right where you're walking. What, uh, what happened to OBR this morning? Our boy Roy. Our boy Roy, OBR. I don't know. <laughs> His car wasn't out there? No. Oh. Must have been burning it down last night. Yeah, it's partying, partying hard. <laughs> oh Roy, let's see here. I'm gonna hang a couple shells here. Hang this little cockle here. Hang that one there. Hang this other one up here. Scott's hanging some over there, hanging a big one for his mom for her birthday. That's sweet. These shells. Or for our dads. This one is for all our dads that are out there watching. And this one is for all our dads that have passed on. So happy Father's Day, Dad, including my dad. Those two are for our dads. Two cockle shells. Be sure to give your dad a call and tell him you love him if you can.
All right, back out to the beach. So all I've got in my pocket is a whelk and a moon shell, a small moon shell. So far today. Now yesterday there was a bunch of shells up at Wiggins Pass. A lot of them. Are they there today? Who knows? Here today, gone tomorrow. They weren't there the day before. No. Then there's a lot of shells out here in the water. But these darn waves, it's impossible to see them. I just saw something rolling around here. Just saw. Hey. No, oh, I don't know what he's up to. He he had a late night or something. Okay. I mean, he doesn't come every morning or. Usually, yeah. yeah. But every once in a while, he has something else he has to do. Gotcha. So. I just worried. I thought, where's Roy? Every yeah. time I've ever walked, I always see him. So. Oh. Does he live in Naples Park? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, I these, thought so. Sweet. These, He's down on 95th. Okay, I, I'm on 104th and um, a suite. I work with, uh, I volunteer at Naples Shelter. Oh, okay. Tammy, the coordinator, told mentioned Roy to me and she said he lives somewhere in Naples. Yeah, so yeah. Kinda... He actually just lives like a block away from me. Oh, so oh. I can, you check on I can him check on him people? if I have to, yeah. Okay. He's got a lot of people that check I, I on him. I figured that was great, <laughs> Yeah. So he's that kind of guy. Absolutely. So. Well, yeah, great day. You too, all right. What you got there, Scott? A, a little early to be drinking beer out here, isn't it? Modelo, huh? Daytime. Uh, oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> no, picking up, picking up the trash. Can't believe how lazy people are out here with their trash. Anybody home? Nope. <laughs> This is the north end of the park here. You never know. What you? Oh, nice turkey wing. Yeah, that's a nice dark turkey wing. Bottom of a darn bottle. Bottom of a bottle. That'd be nice to step on. Oh yeah, that's why I thought I'd pick it up. That is a nice turkey wing. <laughs> 
Nice and dark. Anybody home? What are you scared of? <laughs> oh, yeah, I got scared of a little seaweed there. Oh, there's another one. There are all. There's there was a, a lot of. Yeah, there. there was a lot of them up there here the other is. day. There's a nice one right there. Another nice fighting conch. Right it's got a hole in that one. Rob, this is where we got married, man. You got married right here. We got married right here. Put all the cheers out. A little uh, sweet. Had a had little arch. Yeah, yeah. very nice. Tina and Mike got six married here ago. six years ago. Yeah. Very nice. There's a really. July, it'll be 14 and we had a years. 14. The yacht club had a little pond, nice side pond. Oh, there. nice. So the whole wedding party got on there. The, uh, oh, that was awesome. It was a Pelican Bay yacht club. Um, did Roy crash your wedding? Roy was not there. <laughs> That's he's but known. You know he's been but yeah. Yep, yeah, he's been known to do that. <laughs> Look at this piece of worm rock. Another. That is an awesome little piece of worm rock. Look at those tubes in there. That is a great little piece of worm rock. Another keeper. Nice little cockle shell. I actually, I think I found that moon shell up there yesterday. When I was, yeah, I was like, huh, couldn't believe it. Sorry guys. Sorry guys. I just saw it I'll sticking up. I'll take the moon. Yeah. That's all right. Let me see your moon shell. He ain't bad. He's got a chip off the side. I'm gonna... <laughs> That's all right. That's a nice little moon shell. You quit getting ahead of me. That's twice you <laughs> did that to me. <laughs> oh God. Get up there, honey. Don't <laughs> <laughs> Get them off. No. You know. I'll take them though. That one's not nearly yeah, as Yeah, nice, let's see. Which which are nicer? Let's see. Uh, Scott's let me, let me, let me, let me right. trade Get you your with that one. I'll let you know. <laughs> Two nice little lightning whelks. You just never know where you're going to find a shell here. It could be in the water, up on the beach. There's no rhyme or reason. Now this is some good stuff, probably right down in here. This is all still nice and wet, so it hasn't been here too long. So you just... Walk slow. Don't let your friends get ahead of you. <laughs> They're out there. <laughs> I was going for a different shell and I just saw that. Ooh, one. no no big moon. Oh, nice. Big moon guy. The old shark eye. Sweet. Ah, run, Linda. <laughs> There's enough shells for all of us. Are you sure about that? I say that until you find a really cool one. Exactly. That I can't forget to look out along the edge of the water when you're shelling.
there's that darn barge sucking up the sand out there pumping it down to pumping it down the beach the sun's trying to break through the clouds here slow but steady where's all those dolphins Yeah, there's a lot of shells out here. Man. Look at all those shells. That's the Coquihatchee River there. There's Wiggins Pass. Some boaters heading out in their pontoon boat. Boy, lots of broken stuff, old shells, some really old conch shells here. Look at this old, this old fighting conch. He's really worn down. An old Florida fighting conch. No more room in your pockets, hon? <laughs> Look at the color of this shell. It's an old crown conch. It's almost blue. That is really old. Wow. So what's your find of the day? Anything you got? Find that's a nice piece of coral. Yeah, that's a nice piece, a of coral. piece of coral. That wow. looked good in a fish tank with yeah. the fish swimming through it. That's a nice piece of coral. That one's broken. Oh well, can't win them all. No. <laughs> He's got all my shells. All right, well, yeah, you found oh, some nice ones there. Not that one. Uh, <laughs> That's because you were slacking off. You got to see yep. out of him. Yep. Look at all Sorry, the old guys. dodgers that are... Uh, oh, I was <laughs> slacking off. Yeah, see? I it's see. your fault, Linda. I found it. <laughs> you know I can't run. Uh, <laughs> you know I can't run. <laughs> <laughs> can't get around to me. I should have tackled uh, you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> That'd be funny. That Next would have been funny. Next time. Uh, <laughs> you see the camera go to the ground. Boom, boom, boom. You'll know there's trouble. <laughs> She'll do that to you. Oh. This is crazy how this goes back here. Now. Well, uh, yeah, this has changed a lot here. Boy, and that's a steep drop off here. This is the north end of the park. Got a little snowy egret out there fishing. See him down there in the water. Wow. Look at that, it's like almost stair-stepped right here. Well, you're ahead of me now, Scott, so <laughs> quit your crying. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs>
Ah! Oh, nice. Look how, oh my, this is a big drop off here. Good googa mugga. I haven't been down here in a while. This is all since the dredging. They've really dredged this out. This channel is really deep now. That's incredible. Look how dark green that water is here. Channel marker six. I don't. I can't believe the markers are way over here, right by the beach. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think they're going to have to be relocating these markers there soon. I'll walk around here. It's been a while since we've been up to the very north end here. This is the north end of Del Norwegans Pass State Park. Depending on how you look at it, it's either the beginning of the beach or the end of the beach up here. But right up there, it's where the beach ends or begins. There's Barefoot Beach over there. There goes another boat heading out. Some more people heading out to do some fishing. Gorgeous. Good morning. How you doing? You know what you should do with that? What's that? Why don't you go through the park and when you're walking along, film the trash. Oh, isn't that sad? All the trash out here. Why don't you do something about it with your camera? Yeah, we talk about it. People yeah. are out there picking it up. We get a lot of volunteers that show up to pick it up. Why don't you put that on your, on your uh, YouTube shit? Oh, we do. Watch what you say there. We're live here. Why don't you make some good, do some good with that camera? And I am doing some good. And film the trash and make it I am doing aware. good. Make I do a lot aware. of good. I do a lot of good for the environment. You should watch what we do here. Okay. That's what we're all about. <laughs> yep. Stupid asshole. Shit punched him in the face. <laughs> That is gorgeous though. Well, here's a look at the end of the beach that you haven't seen in quite a while. This has really changed here, look at that. And look at this. Look at this shell tree down here. Nice, look at that. Beautiful. That is beautiful with the light. Oh. I gotta take a little picture of that. All the way down here at the end, the very end of the park. Somebody started a nice shell tree. That is cool. A lot of seaweed on the beach down here.
Oop, getting a weak connection down here. I'll repost the video on YouTube later so you get a better look at things. I'm gonna take a quick photo. Well, there's Roy showed up. I see Roy. I see him around the corner talking to Scott and Linda. Say hi to our friend Roy, see how he's doing today. Lots and lots. Can you see all the shells here in front of me? Lots of shells out here on the beach. Our barges doing the dredging. Here comes Roy. Boy, some old fighting conks up here. Some really old fighting conks. It's probably all got picked up in the, by the dredge and pumped out onto the beach. That's a really old one there. Really old fighting conk. Hey, Rob, how are you doing? Roy, what are you up to? Looking all over for you this morning. Well, I was here bright and early. I wasn't. <laughs> I know. Where were you at? What happened? Oh, I slept in. You slept in? You know, late last night, so I figured I'd just snuggle in. A late it looked kind of overcast anyway, so what the heck. Yeah. Some nice color out there, though, the sunrise. You got, you got your pink clouds up here. Oh, I'm sorry I missed that. Yeah. I did see some pink when I was There's home. always tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow's another day. I thought you'd be looking at the dolphins up here. Any dolphins at all? I have not seen any dolphins. Just people. And people and old, barges. They moved the old red barge to the north a little closer to yeah. where I go swimming. I don't understand what they're doing. <laughs> they move it back and forth. Yeah. And then this one across the way stuck up on the beach. Yeah, it's been there quite a while. I think they're just kind of storing it there. They got the other... The little backhoe there on the barge, that's up on Barefoot Beach. What they a, did kind of pull up the sand there one time on the beach, yeah. that was about it. That's an eyesore. Ugh. Oh, they'll be done another couple of years. Yeah, they'll be done in a couple of years. I hope they get done sooner than that. That's about the rate they're going, that'll be about it. Well, we'll probably have another storm. <laughs> we'll have to just start right back <laughs> over again. Start over again. I think that's what they did, because Originally, they started out here and worked their way back up oh, into the pass. they built a big berm out there. They filled in yeah. all that. All new, we got all new sandbars out there from the sand they've dredged out of the pass. And they ate away at Barefoot Beach here. I don't know why, but they really dug into that. They yeah. Out. I don't know how they determine what sand they take away and where they dump it. I don't know. This doesn't seem to make any sense to me, but what's it gonna do today? Just kind of overcast. Overcast, it, yeah. Kind of a gloomy day. Oh, it's a glorious day. It's always glorious. It's wonderful, glorious. Being day. able to come out here—that's what makes great. it glorious. Yeah, I take swims today. It's kind of a hot one. A lot of. You're swims. gonna need a couple swims today. A lot of swims the outer reefs. No uh, falling off the reef there. No tripping <laughs> over the reef. <laughs> Did oh, you, what a so you didn't see day. it? You didn't sing and have any dolphins come up while you were singing yesterday? Well, I worked at it, but no, none of them heard uh, me, I guess. I think I was singing off key. They didn't ah. <laughs> I was singing five foot two, eyes of blue. And once when that one came up to you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it must be a female. Did yeah. she have blue eyes? Yeah, yeah, it was five foot two. Too. <laughs> wow. Has anybody seen my dolphin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have not seen the dolphins now for quite a while. 
Well, miss you them. know, I don't either. And then I go back, and then everybody and comes tells back you they're and says, up here. Oh, there's a whole pot of dolphins and manatees, and I get a big report. But yeah, but you never see them with your own eyes. Right. <laughs> I know. Are they pulling our leg? <laughs> I'm, I don't Scott, know they sure. said they saw them up here the other day. Yeah. I don't know if they, if if the tide affects when they're playing around up here. Sure it probably does because. That has to do with the fish and they follow the fish, that's yep. for sure. So probably when that tide starts coming back in is when they're up here and the fish are running back up the river. And that's gonna be quite a few hours away still. Yeah. Well it's another glorious day in paradise. Isn't it though? A little overcast, but who cares? I'll take it. Any day you can be out here, start your day at the beach. That's a great day. Every day, even if it rains, what the heck? There you go, That's a little rain. Too. Singing, a little rain isn't going to kill us. Singing in the rain us. is always fun. Singing in the rain. Yeah. I don't know if we had any more sea turtle nests. I didn't see any when I was walking up this morning, but. Singing in the rain, <laughs> what a glorious time. Happy again, la 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 la. Yeah. Okay. Singing. Singing in the rain. Oh, Gene Kelly. Couldn't he dance? Yep. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, that was an oldie. All right, well, what you gonna do? You gonna check in up here? Well, I'm trying to get in contact with the great creator. There you go. So I get some words of advice and counsel. All right. That's always very worthwhile. I'll be sure to share them with us. <laughs> I got. I want to catch up to Scott and them. They're making their way back down the beach. Yeah. I'll see you later on. Look forward to All it. right, Roy. Have a good morning. You too. God bless. Always, always, always has a cheerful, happy face, big smile, great attitude. You gotta love him, Roy. Our good friend, Roy. Whoops. Went to grab a conch shell here. Waves just washed it right out of my hand. Nice little conch. That has a nice little fighting conch shell right there. Make somebody a nice little souvenir. Another nice little worm shell. Found two pretty nice lightning whelks earlier today. For those of you that are just tuning in, and a couple. Nice color, nice color on these two whelks. Those are lightning whelks. Two pretty nice finds there. Nice little cockle down here. Nice little cockle shell. Show you, you can give you an idea of these cockles. They're pretty plentiful. You find them all over. And there's another one. So, you give you an idea of the size range can find them smaller than that and bigger than that. There's two little cockle shells. I want to catch up to Scott and Linda and Mike and Tina. They got ahead of me here while I was talking to Roy. See how they're doing. See what they found.
you can walk this beach 24 hours a day up and down this one mile stretch of beach here at the park and every time you walk it you're going to see something different it's just amazing how things change a lot of it you know has to do with the way the sun's hitting the beach right now there's no sun hitting the beach we're pretty socked in here but every time you walk along you find something different this morning i started out again all the way down in area one but i did not see any turtle tracks on the beach this morning yesterday we had three more confirmed nests we were up to 28 yesterday i don't know if i did see the rangers checking something out all the way down at the end of the beach down in area one it, i didn't go down there i don't know i'm i don't know if they found a nest or if they it was just a crawl Another one of our shell trees here. I see Karen and Tom up here too. I want to take a picture of something over here so you have to bear with me. I just hung these two cockle shells earlier this morning for, for our dads here. For our dads that are with us and our dads that aren't with us anymore. God bless all of you. Let me take a quick photo of that. Sorry about that. All right, I think I got a photo. Now let's... Okay, ooh, there's a little old piece of a moon shell down there. Just the top of it. Actually, that looks like an... And one of those gaudy nauticas. Gaudy, gaudy nautica. Just the top of the shell. We should get some more light out here. The sun's trying to peek through, but it's not having much success here. You can see those thick clouds up there. Thing down here in the water. Now the tide's going out. It's getting a little easier to see along here.
More of our friends out here. Tom, how you doing? Oh, good. Good, 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 man. Good. Yep, good to see you. Yeah. The old man finally woke up. Yeah, he had said he had a busy night last night. I don't know what he was doing. I didn't want to ask any more questions. Nope. <laughs> I'm don't gonna, ask, don't yep. tell. <laughs> no need to know. Nope. Oh, God. No <laughs> Karen, how you doing this morning? morning. Did you Having find fun. anything else on the way back? Nothing. No. Nope. Did you guys nothing. find anything? Well, you Nothing. guys took it all on the way up. We though. did. <laughs> There's plenty out there. Oh, yeah. Got look in the water. Those piles. Yeah. We still have to have a shark tooth day. We do. Yep. Yeah. When the tide goes out, we have to give it a try. Yep. Yeah. Take we'll, our time. Take our time. Yeah. One of these days, we will find our shark teeth. Right. Our day will come. Right. <laughs> it better not be in the two weeks. Yeah, we exactly. Bills, well, we're convinced he yeah. starts with them in his pocket. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Don't clip the bottom of his pocket. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's That'd be good. Oh, What'd you find? I should get out. Shut the front out. freaking door. Are you kidding me? Right here. I just looked look, down and saw Look at the size it. of that shark's tooth. You can tooth. see the mark in the sand. Ah, uh, that's funny as hell. Well, there you wow. go. Wow. Found a shark tooth. Look at that oh, well. shark's that's tooth. Bill. And that yeah, is an awesome one. That is an awesome one. That is it. That is it. There's our first standing shark around doing on our beach walk. Just joking about it. Look at this. Wow. Oh my lord. You guys want to stop there. Let me get a quick picture of it. Well, there you go. She beat us to it. Not only a shark tooth, a huge one. Now we can retire. That is a huge one. That is nuts. I gotta get that. That is necklace to the law. That, <laughs> Lynn, that, that yeah. is awesome. That, that was fantastic. Wow. What a fun. And that was yeah. in his gums. Ah, that is amazing. That is amazing. Well, congratulations. Good wow. honey. Congratulations. Thank you. I thought you stepped on something. <laughs> well, you did. That was awesome. <laughs> well, there you go. That's what we get for talking about Bill. Yep. Bill made that happen. Yes. <laughs> Bill made that happen. That is awesome. Wait till I show them. Up there. I mean, and up on the beach, way up uh, on the beach. Way up here. We're always looking down so there. Walk by it. That was a great find. Yeah, we all walked by it once. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Everybody. Here's another one. <laughs> You're gonna get her fired up. Well, now you now you found one. Now you got it. Now you have the touch. Now that the next one comes easy. Yeah, you got the fever. Yep. What an awesome find. Wow. Oh boy. It's gonna be a good day. Now we just need some dolphins. There you go. That was incredible. That was a huge shark's tooth. That was amazing. And to find it way up on the beach. Well, it was definitely Linda's lucky day today. There are hundreds of shark teeth out here in the water. You can see, they're hard to see. Got all these little black stones and chips and shells, and it's hard to tell what's the shark's tooth and what's not. So you really have, a, have to train your eye to find them. They're definitely out here. That was an amazing find that Linda just made. Congratulations to her. A little sun coming out, finally.
What's amazing is that that big shark's tooth that Linda found a little while ago, we all walked by that this morning, walked right by it. Lots and lots of other people walked right by it. Just incredible. That definitely made her day for sure. Got a little bit of a hike ahead of me here to get back to my starting point down in area one. Hey, Mike. Oh, wait till you see what Linda found. Wait till you see. Yeah. It was too funny. We were. We were up there, we were just standing there talking about we gotta go look for shark's teeth. And we start walking, and all of a sudden she screams. Right there on the beach. Shark tooth? Yep, no huge. Kidding. That's probably like that. Oh, I can't It was just sitting right there on the beach. <laughs> right after we finished wow. talking about him. We all walked right by yep, it the we, first time. Yep, huh? all of us did. That's funny. Good, I wanna see what it oh, looks yeah. like so I know what to expect now. Well, yeah, I don't, you, this is a big one. You don't oh, find yeah. them like that all the time, oh. but yeah. Tina's gonna be jealous. <laughs> oh, geez. Yeah, we walked right by it. Yep. I'm I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah. I know you are. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> well, tide's slowly going out here. As the morning progresses. Good morning, Lynn. How are you doing? Good morning, Bob. All right, I have two free hands again, almost. Well, you're going to be mad when you see the shark's tooth <gasps> Linda found. Did she really? Yep. Oh, my goodness. Right, we were just talking about them, and when she just took a couple steps and let out a scream. And there it was. And there it was. Oh, a big one. <laughs> honey, I'm sorry. Way up you on the beach. It. Way up on the beach. Wow. We all walked right by it earlier. Yeah. Well, now we're going to search extra hard. Exactly. <laughs> but see, we're looking in these piles for shells, and yeah, I know there's shark's teeth in them. Yeah. Well, now what they look like. Yep. Wow. Well, you're going to see hey, for is sure. That, is that our bag over there, Tina? Yeah, that's our bag. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> that happens to me, too. My swim trunks are down to my knees. I guess my pockets are full of shells. Pelican hanging out offshore with the barge pumping behind him. One of our brown pelicans. The old barge pumping the sand from Wiggins Pass behind him. You know, it's kind of funny. It's ironic, actually. But right before I caught up with Scott and Linda and Tom and Karen there, I was saying how you could walk this beach 24 hours a day, just back and forth on this one-mile stretch of beach and always find something different. And her finding that shark's tooth, where we had just a half hour earlier walked up the beach, it was right there in plain sight. None of us saw it on our way up. And we almost walked by it on our way back. So it just goes to show, you know, patience, perseverance, it all pays off when you're shelling.
got some, these are royal, royal crested terns out here. A couple gulls. See if I can get you a little zoom in, get you a shot of the terns there. Those are the terns. Along with a couple seagulls. Hanging out here on the sandbar. Sun's trying to pop out there, but still some high clouds. Overcast. There's a little fighting conch shell down there. Just a little Florida fighting conch. A little baby one, nothing in it. We saw a live fighting conch earlier this morning. Go back and check that out. Hey, if you enjoy these beach walks, be sure to tell your friends about them. Hit the share button. Take some time, check out my photos and videos. I'm sure you're gonna find something interesting. Hopefully, everybody learns a little bit on these beach walks. I don't know a whole lot of things, but what I do know, I like to share. And I'm always trying to learn new things about what I find here, what I see here. And when I do, I like sharing that with our friends. Remember, nobody pays me to come out here and do this. I enjoy doing it, but if you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Every little bit helps. You can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post a little later. Funny, as we get down here, we're just getting out of area four and crossing into area three. The shells just kind of disappear from the beach. Beautiful here, look at the water. Nice and clear.
Well, I want to thank everybody for tuning in this morning. Happy Father's Day to all you dads. Be sure to give your dad a call today and tell him you love him. Hey, have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday, wherever you might be watching from. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.